Man, yeah. Hey, man, yeah. Mm hmm. Time for me to talk a little shit, swallow a little spit, man. I can't even use my gun. Look at her ass. What you doing, girl? We ain't make no goddamn content, man. Every time I turn around, some motherfucker outside, my girl, I got to get my garage done, man. Man, listen, when you when you get a spot, you got some nose and neighbors, man. Look here, that shit ain't cool. But without further ado, man, look here. Motherfucker got me not even wanting to shoot the video because I know they eavesdropping like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? I know they are. Anyway, um, first and foremost, man, I want to say, man, I'm just not finishing this bottom. Just now, yeah, just not getting to the bottom of that. Yeah, just not getting to the bottom of that. Hold on. See, I'm a country ass nigga, man. I gotta talk loud, man. See, my neighbor's so motherfucking nosy. I know they over there eavesdropping and shit, and I ain't got time for the bullshit. I don't need them in my mix. You understand me? Listen, man, uh, that was a good purchase I did. Uh, that was a good purchase I made with that lilac girl. With that lilac girl, you know what I'm saying? That was a great purchase, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because, see, it's a lot of color chases in this game. If you new to the bully game, it's a lot of color chases. Motherfucker scream. Hey, I don't want to structure over everything, structure over everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of them to scream structure over everything. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know that there's people out here that are buy a dog solely off the color and don't give a fuck how that motherfucker look. Now, granted, my girl that's been in the... Uh, past two videos she got structure my girl woo she got structure my girl uh sassy she got structure you know what i'm talking about so let me tell y'all y'all what i'm doing i'm creating a motherfucking line i'm creating i'm not sitting here hype breeding i'm not finding the hottest studs to goddamn breed to no i'm finding the studs with the qualities that i need to create my line that's what some of you YouTubers, some of you, you you YouTube readers aren't doing. They're not sitting around creating a line because when you create a line, that shit take years on top of years, homie. You can't create no line overnight. You can't buy two dogs and then you can't buy two dogs and then say, oh, this is my line. No. When it comes to creating a line, you got to create that dog. You got to create that dog you like. See, I'm creating a dog. I'm I'm creating a, when you create a line, you create a doubt. I'm creating a doubt. You know what I'm talking about? So that's why I got so many. Di What's up, girl? That's why I got so many different dogs. That's why I got so many different flavors. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't sitting here breeding to the uh the uh the the top the top studs in the game and just wanting to sell pups. You feel me? Hey, granted, if I want to, I can, nigga. I got crown money. I got crown money. I got crown money. His stuff fee $5,000. I got murder baby money. His stuff fee $4,500. You know what I'm talking about? I got karate body money. His stuff fee $3,500. You know what I'm talking about? I got, I got that. I got uh, pimpy money. His shit, $7,500. I got that. You understand me? But that's not what I'm doing. I'm creating a line of them dogs. Uh, outside of karate body and murder baby, them dogs really ain't got shit I need. With this lilac girl, I don't need shit off Crown. Crown had color, you know what I'm saying? I could do the rest. I know how to breed. You understand me? You got to know how to breed. When you know how to breed, you know how to do things. You know what I'm saying? And you could, and as long as you got patience, you can goddamn make it happen. Now, yeah, I can get a crown lit on the ground and maybe sell the motherfuckers that out. But where I'm at, man, ain't no telling with that shit, bro. Man, I'm looking. I'm in the Carolinas. I get it. I get some crown juice. I get some crown juice. I have a crown lid. I ended up sending puffs to Indianapolis, Michigan, Florida, uh, Houston, shit like that. I'll be sending puffs all over America because these motherfuckers around here, I hate to say it, 
they just ain't really with that shit like that. Some of them are, but a lot of them ain't. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of them ain't. And that's just fact. They can sit here and say what the fuck they want to say. But if you sit here and drop a big boy lit off crown, a big boy lit off murder baby, a big boy litter, if it ain't off like a big Twix or something, man, these motherfucking niggas, <laughs> you understand me? And that's not down to them. I'm just saying what it is. And if I was in it for the money, then I'd breed to a big Twix. Then I'd breed to one of these dogs around here that got a name. But nah, I'm developing my own line around here. So it is what it is. So with the girl I bought, as you can see, she has structure. She's not the shortest thing in sight, but she's not the tallest. She's 13 and a half inches at the withers. You know what I'm talking about? Now, granted, I'm here to tell you, when it comes to my program, bruh, I don't want no dog that's just going to sit on the table. I done said this in multiple videos. I don't want no dog that's just going to sit at the table. And, you know what I'm saying? Look some type of way. That ain't what I'm doing. Nah, man. If I can't throw a ball and that dog go run and catch that ball and bring that bitch back, I don't want that dog. I ain't got nothing to do with that motherfucking dog, homie. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with that motherfucking dog. You know what I'm talking about? It, it, it. If I can't take my dog to the park to walk around and motherfucker be like, damn, that's a nice ass dog. Ooh, dog. <laughs> dog about to die. <laughs> it's like, man, who the fuck want that shit? You can't even take the dog. You got to take a table everywhere with the motherfucking dog. Nah, I want to walk this dog. You know what I'm saying? I want to walk this dog and I want to see motherfucker. I want motherfucker to see me with this dog and be like, damn, what kind of dog is that? Yeah, this is my line. I got my own line of dogs. You know what I'm talking about? This this is a uh, whoop, whoop, whoop bully, you know what I'm saying? Whoop, 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 such and such. I might not even take the name bully when I create my own line. I might call it a whole nother dog and, and go some other route, which I ain't gonna say through these videos. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's why I got sprayway. I got sprayway for color. I got sprayway for a lot. Of things. I got sprayway for his head. I got sprayway for a snout. You know what I'm saying? I got woo. What's up, woo? I got woo for her height. I got woo for a lot of other things. What's up, girl? I got woo for a neck. I got woo for a height. I got woo for a front. You understand me? I got Missy for a weight. I got Missy for a rear. You know what I'm talking about? I got Missy for a height. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, I got Sassy for her top line. I got Sassy for her athleticism. You know what I'm saying? She's about 12 inches. You know what I'm talking about? I really keep it a buck with you. 10 inches is the lowest I would even consider going on a bully. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be 9 inches, 7 inches. Fuck that dog. I get a chihuahua. I get a Pomeranian, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck I want with a dog that little for? No. I'm the type of nigga I like my dogs to be after a motherfucker ass. If I'm scrapping, I need that dog to latch on no motherfucker. So that's just my preference. I don't need no dog I got to carry around on one arm and do all this bullshit. And then when it when it's on and popping, the dog can't do nothing but sit there and just look at you. Your dog looking at you, get your ass beat. You know what I'm saying? How your dog looking at you, get your ass beat. How I was raised around these dogs, you getting your ass beat. The dog on your ass too. You know the dog on no the dog on the motherfucker ass. You whooping the motherfucker ass. The dog after that motherfucker too. You understand me? So hey. But at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong. If people want that. Dog that look good on the table, that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Me personally, I want a dog that could do a little bit of everything. You know what I'm talking about? And I like karate body. You know what I'm saying? Only reason I'm not breeding to karate body is because I haven't seen none of his productions. You know, I haven't seen it. I'm not saying he ain't gonna produce no fire ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't seen none of his productions. And I'm saying that because my females aren't the caliber of females them boys holding. I ain't even going to hold you. I don't have them them, them super loaded, paired ass females like that. I don't have that because I'm creating my own line. And when you create your own line, you don't really need that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know what you're looking for, but um, with my girl I just bought, you know what I'm saying? I hear guys in front of their videos or in the beginning of their videos, yeah, no, no, that English bulldog shit, woo, 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 straight bulls. Man, listen, I'm going to tell you something. For an ignorant nigga to say something like that, motherfucker don't know nothing about bullies. Somewhere in your pad, in order to get that height, it's either a Frenchie in that motherfucker or a mini English bulldog. Period. You ain't goddamn shortening up no American, uh... No American goddamn pit bull. You're not shortening that motherfucker up with another pit bull. 
with another terrier. You're not doing that. You're not putting no weight on that motherfucker with another pit bull. Yeah, you see a purebred pit bull, that motherfucker slim dunking. You know what I'm talking about? That motherfucker slim as hell. So what did they do? They got down, added that motherfucking uh, English bulldog in the mix. Or they added something in the mix in order to bulk it up a little bit. In order to add color. You know what I'm saying? They outcrossed with something. Come on, man. Motherfuckers be talking this stupid shit on YouTube, and y'all just be following these dumbass niggas, man. You know, I, I'm going to just keep it a buck. Like, oh, no English Bulldogs. No, none of that Bulldog shit. None of that goddamn. Man, your dog ain't got no tail, nigga. And you talking about none of that Bulldog shit. Your dog ain't got no tail. So if it ain't got the Bulldog, it got the Frenchie in it. Ain't no way you about to have something 10 inches with no Frenchie in it. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. These motherfuckers be talking crazy and y'all just be going for that shit. Listen, when they come to these bullies, if you got something 10 inches, 9 inches, even 11 inches, motherfucker, you got either one of the mini English bulldogs somewhere in your dog pad or you got a motherfucking Frenchie somewhere in your dog pad. And if you didn't know, it's a thing called hanging papers. Motherfuckers hang papers. All day, hang papers, papers hung, papers hung. Different with my kennel and a lot of these other kennels is, I'm going to put it in your face. I'm ABR. I don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? I'm not hanging shit. You're going to be able to see the bloodline on everything, including the motherfucking, that girl. Yeah, her pops was a motherfucking, uh, <clears throat> her pops was a cross between English Bulldog and, uh, English Bulldog and, and, and uh, and I, I want to say uh, American uh, Bully. Yeah, American Bully and English Bulldog. Her pops. But guess what? Her pops had cover. Her pops was motherfucking Lilac Tri. You know what I'm talking about? And she's a direct daughter off of Lilac Tri. You feel me? And goddamn, her mama carried color. And guess what? Sprayway carried color. You understand me? So when I put them two together, you understand me? Guess what's about to happen? It's a very good chance a whole lot of rainbow coming out. She got a nice structure. To compliment a lot of the shit Sprayway got. And to clear up a lot of shit. You feel me? So, when these motherfuckers be talking that shit. If they ain't breeding straight up pit bulls. If they ain't breeding straight up Americans. Them motherfuckers got something else in they goddamn bloodline. I don't give a fuck what they sitting there talking about. Oh, none of that bulldog shit. Man, them niggas, trust me. Motherfuckers, you know the popular motherfuckers on, the, on this the popular motherfuckers tend to spread the most bullshit. It be that underdog, that underground motherfucker that's going to give you that real. It's just like the music game. This dog shit is just like the music game, bro. You know what I'm talking about? When you listen to underground, underground rap, them niggas is giving you that raw, uncut shit. Me, I'm underground YouTube. And even when I got down, hit 100,000 subscribers. Even when I hit... 150,000 subscribers, even when I hit 250,000 subscribers, even when I hit 300,000 subscribers, I'm going to still be a raw ass nigga giving you this uncut ass shit, but the difference is I'll probably be more humble then, I'll probably be a tad bit more humble, or I might just turn all the way up on you motherfucking niggas and really get stupid, you know what I'm saying, I, 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 but I, I, I know in me, I'm used to having things, so I'll probably be a tad bit more humble, but I'm hungry right now, you know what I'm talking about? But, um, yeah, so the thing called hanging papers, what is hanging papers? You guys don't know what hanging papers is. Hanging papers is when you got a female dog, right? And let's say you got a male dog. This male dog don't have papers, you know what I'm saying? So some way, I'm not going to say on this net, but some way you breed this female and then you say that this, uh, that the sire was a totally different dog than the actual motherfucking sire. So let's just say... It's this American bully named, uh, I'm going to call him Stud One. You got Stud One right here. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Stud Two, which is the official pops. Stud Two don't have no paperwork or he can't be accepted by whatever. Or they don't want motherfuckers to know what Stud Two really is. They want to hide the sauce so motherfuckers can't see what's really in the pad and how they come up and create this dog. So they put, well... Uh, stud, this is stud one's litter right here when it really was stud two's litter. You see what I'm saying? So now when you look at the pad and you be like, oh, okay, well, he bred this type of dog and that type of dog and created this. I got a dog with similar features. I could do that. Then boom, you do it. You don't get a dog. Nothing like the dog that came out because bam, they hung their paperwork.
You feel me? They hung their paperwork. And these big breeders do it. These little breeders do it. These mediocre breeders do it. A whole lot of breeders do it, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they it's because they do it, it's the right thing. I'm just saying when you purchasing a dog, look at the dog in front of you and then look at the pedigree and see what's really good with it. Like if that's really what it is. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? Me, I ain't hanging shit. I ain't no need to hang shit. I know everything. My, my history... All my dogs ain't a mystery on my dogs. You know what I'm talking about? Everything is in camp. I got like 10 of them motherfuckers. Everything is right here. My history ain't a mystery, especially when it come down to two and three more generations. My history ain't a motherfucking mystery. I know what I'm doing over here. You know what I'm saying? But the next man, don't hang that paperwork. Yeah, you, you got motherfuckers out here who will buy a puppy and be like, nah, I don't need the paperwork. Don't even worry about it. Because they already got a set of paperwork. With You might have some fire-ass dogs as a little camp, right? You got some fire ass dog. Boom, they come buy one off you for let's say two thousand, three thousand. Boom. Next thing you know, I don't need the paper paperwork. Don't even worry about it. But they ain't gonna say that. They'll probably take the paperwork. But they'll scrap that paperwork and then they'll put this other paperwork on it saying that it's it is a, a such and such son in a in a whoop whoop who, breeding. You know, it's a such and such son and a such and such son. Y'all such and such son and a whoop whoop. They they'll take your mom and daddy, throw that bitch away and put a more popular mama and daddy on the paperwork. Next thing you know, boom. That now when they breed the bitch, oh yeah, this is crown meats woo. Oh, this is such and such meat woo. When really it was your dog to begin with. You know what I'm saying? And your dog don't get none of the glory. Your kennel, your cat don't get none of the glory. They give it to these popular motherfuckers. So that way they can sell the litter a little faster. You understand me? It's all part of the game, man. But let me get off this goddamn line. I mean, let me get off this what you caught, man. Because I've been drinking. I'm sauced up. You know what I'm talking about? And I just wanted to give you guys a little insight on this game if you're a new breeder. You know what I'm talking about? If you're striving to learn things in this game and what these motherfuckers really be out here doing. You understand me? Yeah, it's a dirty game now. It's a dirty game. You got to know, like, like I was just saying. I don't usually buy, like I said in the other video, I usually don't buy grown females. However, this female came from my mentor in the game. I done bought several females from my mentor, and I know if it ain't right, he will make it right. You understand me? A lot of niggas don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's my mentor. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. He ain't never really sold me no bullshit. He sold me exactly what I wanted for the knowledge that I had at the time. He did that. I say he did that. You ain't got no knowledge of the game. You know what I'm saying? Then a motherfucker will say some bullshit, some loose change. You know what I'm saying? But now I got more knowledge. I was more specific, and he gave me exactly what the fuck I wanted. A bitch able to produce some color with a little structure, and it's going to be coming at you. Furthermore, uh, like I was saying in the last video too, man, no more pet home shit, man. If you looking for a pet... And you tap in with me, you're going to pay breeder prices, man. Unless I got a special going on, you know what I'm saying? Or unless I got a little, hey, boy, I'm about to take you outside. Unless I got a little that it's like, cause I got, you got to look. I got Wu lined up with Bolo Young. I got uh, Sassy lined up with Kobe. I got goddamn uh, Snow, Snowfall lined up with another big name stud off the west side. I'm not doing no more. No more, uh, no more pet homes, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to pay more money for what I got coming. I did the pet home shit three breeds back to back. Y'all tapped in. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I'm letting you guys know now, if you're, in, if you're in the lane to be a breeder, I'm the nigga to holler at. You need to holler at me, especially with this litter, this goddamn. If you're looking to add color to your camp quick, you need to goddamn be waiting for this breeding for uh, Sprayway and the new girl I just bought. If you're looking to add color to your camp quick, you need to be goddamn. And then it's, it's, it's more than just color. She gonna provide structure. He gonna provide them, them bowls in the front to a certain degree. You know, his is exaggerated, but they won't be as exaggerated on the next breed. You know what I'm saying? Because every time, I ain't gonna go into that. That's another video. But peace, love, blessings. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Man, tap in. I'm striving to hit you guys in the head with more content every day. I appreciate my viewers, man. I noticed my numbers is going all the way up. Respect.
Blessings to y'all, man. Leave a comment, whatever, man. When I see the comment, I'm going to tap right back in with you. I ain't on no goddamn superstar shit, even though I'm getting like 25 views a goddamn. A 25, yeah, I'm getting 25 views. Yeah, I'm up, nigga. I'm getting 25 views a motherfucking video, Jack. I done made it, nigga. I done motherfucking made it, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to go Hollywood on y'all niggas. Just tap in with me, man. Much love to y'all. Y'all know my IG. Follow my IG. Tap in with me. I'll follow back. I don't be tripping. You know what I'm talking about? Peace, love, and blessings, man. And uh, if you're celebrating the 4th, happy 4th to y'all, man. Be careful with them firecrackers, man. You need all your fingers, B.